Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another YouTube video. So in this video, we have actually a tool called Tweet Hunter for you guys. So this is similar to what we did last week with the LinkedIn tool called Taplio. So these are based with the same kind of uh, idea on uh, AI based writing, but this one is obviously for Twitter and for tweets. Uh, you can schedule your tweets, you can get ideas, you can interact right in the software. So I just thought I'd make a quick video on how I use it personally for my Twitter account. Uh, and just give you a quick little walkthrough of what all you can do with it. So as you can see, this is my feed and I honestly have uh, tweets that are already scheduled. So uh, believe it or not, this is written by AI. Uh, this was personally written for me uh, because I am obviously in cold email uh, and these were just that I really like. So I just scheduled them out. So once you log in and you make your account, you can just made, make a paid account. Uh, you have write a tweet, which is obviously just writing a normal tweet that you would like to. You've got my feed, which is obviously this, where you can see, you know, what you have actually got in plan. Uh, you've got my analytics, so you can have a look at your analytics over here. Take some time to load, so let's just not do it. Uh, now, this comes to tweet inspirations for you. Now, these are tweet inspirations that are the AI uh, thing that would suit me. So I put my preference as email and SMMA and cold email and marketing. Uh, so you can see we've got a lot of uh, cold email outreach, it's like dot email marketing hacks, everything like that. So like, for example, if I want something uh, to be written, uh, I can just edit and retweet. So I, if I just click edit and tweet, it'll come over here and I can just tweet it now. I can add it to queue. It says it's too similar uh, and that we need to change it a bit. So let's say email marketing, we've, I like this tweet, but I don't want to make the edits on my own. I can just click this robot button and the AI will make a little change in this tweet so that it's not similar to what they've tweeted and it just makes that little change inside the tweet so that it becomes personally mine. So you can see here some quick tips you can add a sign in. So it's basically given me a whole, a whole tweet that I can actually do it in two if I want. Uh, I can just edit it out so you can see it's, it's a little bigger than what it's supposed to be. So it tells me that I need to change it a bit. So this is your daily inspiration under tweet library. You've got your staff picks, so you can pick what category you want your tweet to be in. So for example, if I want in marketing and sales, it will come up and it will show me some email marketing hacks, email marketing tips, uh, whatever I want it to be. So all I need to do is click again, edit and retweet, add to queue and it will automatically be added to my queue. Then comes the AI writer. This is the one that I usually use. Uh, you can see that these are all tweets that are written by AI for me. So I click you saw walk away from long emails or something that I had for tomorrow. So I just clicked add to queue and that's it. I literally have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to 10 tweets readily available for me for when I want to write. You've got thread ideas. So it will give you thread ideas. So for example, I've got my thing as cold email, email marketing, lead generation, lead prospecting. So I just click on generate right over here and you can see it'll generate see uh, best practices in cold email, top 10 email subject line. What would you write? How to write a cold email? What is your method for contacting people in the cold? So, you know, these are obviously just starters that I would like say. And for example, I just generate 10 fresh email subject line examples. I've already made this tweet on my own, but it just gives me uh, some thread hooks that I can, you know, post on my profile. And as you know, on Twitter, threads do very, very good. So you need to have threads at least, I would say, thrice or twice a year. So uh, 10 tricks I used to cold, cold email out. So see, it's given me this. And now I can just tweet this and I can just make a thread out of it. So that's the best part about this software. You've got your CRM. Now moving on to what all you can do. Uh, you can obviously, there's called advanced option. Now or you can click on auto retweet. So basically the tweet will be retweeted by own account after several amount of time. So for example, if I have a thread selling something, I can do auto retweet every 24 hours, every 24 hours, it'll automatically retweet my tweet. Then you've got auto plug. And then if activated, a new tweet will be posted as a reply if the tweet reaches a certain number of likes. So for example, uh, I've gotten something called if I get 50 plus likes on this, I will, I will send you a link to this document. So as soon as it hits 50 plus, it will automatically uh, go do that for me. Then there's auto DM. Now I love this feature because it lets you auto DM people. So for example, have you seen those kind of tweets that say, 
uh, retweet and like this tweet and I'll be your inbox with XYZ. So that's how they do it. They do it with Tweet Hunter. So as soon as they do that, your your thing will start reposting. And as it says, it will auto stop in 72 hours. I had a lot of people come to me and say that uh, they did not get it. So then I realized it has a time limit of 72 hours. And then there is a thread delay. So when you put post a thread, if obviously the thread is longer than you intend to be, it will post it in a bit of a delay. So everything comes under a thread and it's not done, you know, uh, as a separate tweet because you obviously want it in a thread. So these are the basic features that I use for Tweet Hunter. Uh, I've got a link for you guys below that you can sign up to. Uh, you'll get a seven day free trial when you use that link. And after that, obviously you can purchase it uh, for your own use. I would highly recommend Twitter if you are in a B2B uh, business side, uh, Twitter and YouTube are two platforms I would never sleep on. And that's why I'm recording a YouTube video on Twitter on YouTube. So yeah, it's, it's a bit of a mess, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe down below. Uh, in case you want any more software that I you want me to cover, I would be happy to just let me know down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye.